What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby, and welcome to the Raw Preview for tonight's show, 6-17-2013, the show after WWE Payback. Now, if you missed the results, there's a link in the description. You can go watch my full highlights and results video. Let's talk about it. Last night's three-hour slugfest, as brought to you by the WWE app, was colloquially, I can't even say that word. Uh, oh, wow, I feel dumb. No, it's WWE Payback, but Retribution may yet be... Waiting for a trio of superstars who are brazenly relieved incumbent, I, whatever. Uh, last night, a lot of title changes happened. Dolph Ziggler lost his title to Alberto Del Rio. And uh, news right now on the WWE app says Dolph Ziggler is now not medically cleared to compete. But here we go, the five-point preview. Reopening for business. The Hall of Pain has grown quite empty since WrestleMania 29, but it's a monstrous manager. Looks to make his return to Raw following his loss to Sheamus at Extreme Rules. However, he sent out some qu- uh, cryptic tweets to hint at far more existential Mark Henry than the WWE Universe has come to expect. What could the former World WWE Champion have on his mind, if not mayhem? I'll have a video out later talking about him potentially retiring. I think I'm going to wait till after it happens to not draw up some um, confusion. But I think Mark Henry could potentially be hanging it up. Who knows? El Champion está aquí. That's Spanish. Alberto Del Rio reversed his fortunes to WWE Payback and reclaimed the World Heavyweight Championship from Dolph Ziggler. Although the way he did it wasn't exactly in keeping with the pride of Mexico's re- recent altruistic streak. Uh, yes, last night he absolutely went to the head and kind of heelish tactics went and dominated uh, Dolph Ziggler. And, you know, a lot of people were complaining about this, that Dolph Ziggler's reign was crap. Um, I, I would agree with that, that, you know, it's really hard that he cashes in, gets a concussion, and then is out for a month and then loses the title. But if you think about it, in a way, the booking is actually really good because they potentially last night pulled off a double heel face turn uh, with Dolph Ziggler going face, with Alberto Del Rio turning heel, and kind of that, you know, cocky, smarky afterwards. It comes back out and drops a promo. Um, that could be two big things. But also, if you remember how he cashed it in, and Ricardo Rodriguez bought this, brought this up on Twitter. He said, you know, it was, remember how Dolph cashed it in. And that was when Jack Swagger beat up his knee. And then when Dolph came out, he absolutely went and dominated the knee. So he gave it back to him, which would signal, you know, the heel turn. Um, next up is Flying Brian Laid Low. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. All the words that apply to Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton's challenge last night. Uh, the Shields Fury, a lack of synchronicity. Really? Really? That's the word they used? Anyway, they were not able to win, so what's going to be next? Uh, The rumors are Daniel Bryan will be potentially going up against John Cena for the WWE title. Who knows if those plans are true, but it's something I would absolutely love to see. Synchronicity. Wow, I don't know why I just messed that up. Uh, And then out of the frying pan and into the light, John Cena survived the three stages of hell last night in which an ambulance was completely the cheapest thing in the world with a false roof and the... Lights and the doors and the panels getting ripped off. Uh, what stands next after uh, the champ stands tall and his challenger banished? What awaits the C Nation leader on his first draw after escaping the domain of self proclaimed I can't even say that. I'm not even sure. Ryback. Uh, the Saint is coming. Looks like Paul Heyman is as good as his word. CM Punk did, in fact, return at payback and uh, had a great match with CM Punk last night uh, with Chris Jericho. And um, I. Unfortunately, which I don't know if this is unfortunately, but he had a video on WWE.com saying, you know, I want you to be my friend, not my manager. So what's next for CM Punk and Curtis Axel? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, we will see you guys later.